I know you up there, you coward! You can't hide forever! Felix! I am gonna end you! Mate, come on. You'll only get in trouble. What did you say? And you're wasting your time because Felix isn't even in there. I don't believe you. He didn't come home last night. Look, I know you are grieving the loss of your daughter. But what happened was an accident. Oh, it was no accident. He was driving way too fast. If you weren't playing away with his fiance, then that crash would never have happened. So I'm warning you, if anything happens to Felix, I'm going to call the police. Yeah. Do what you like. Felix took my daughter's life. So now I'm going to take his. Right. So, who would I speak to about getting a trial for the footy team? That would be Mr. Ramsey. And where would I find him? Why don't we hold fire until you've been officially enrolled? Mr. Shepherd, it's Mrs. Osborne. Yes, I'm so sorry. Sandra did mention to me that you were coming in today to discuss your return. Yeah, I just wish it was under better circumstances. Um, one of our pupils, Ella Richardson, she tragically passed away this week. Oh, how did she die? I don't think we need to go into the details right now, do we? No, no, we do not. John, why don't I go and find Sandra? You have enough on your plate with the special assembly. Yes, the assembly. Why don't you start today and you can begin with the assembly? I am. Isn't that a bit short notice? For a deputy head. Also, if you wouldn't mind showing these potential new starters around, that would also be marvellous. Thank you. Like I've never been away. So you're back then? <laughs> Come here. How was the great old US of A? Well, considering all I saw was the insides of hospitals and motel rooms, I'm not sure I'm the best person to ask. I'm so glad Morgan's treatment was successful. Oh, me too. How's Mercedes doing? Yeah, she's, um, she's getting there. I feel painfully sorry for the doctors and nurses, though. My mum's back. Fun. Yeah. I hear you're doing the assembly. Yeah. Are you sure you're up to that? I know how close you and Darren were to Ella. No, not really. But if I'm honest, I'm more worried about how Charlie's going to cope. And I still can't get my head around Felix's involvement in all of this. But my main priority is to look after Ella's friends. It's hard enough for an adult to deal with a tragedy like this. How does a teenager even begin to process it? But will you ever listen to what I'm planning to say? Yeah, yeah, of course. Come on. <clears throat> right. For those of you who aren't already aware, I'm sorry to tell you that Ella Richardson of Year 11 has died. Ella was much loved by everyone here, and even just saying those words is really difficult. So I'm going to pause for a moment while we all compose our thoughts. When we lose someone we know and love, there are many different and difficult emotions we can feel. Some of us may be numb with shock. And others can feel an enormous amount of sadness, anger, and despair. But I want you to know that whatever you're feeling right now is OK. And if anybody needs to talk about how they're feeling, I have arranged for a grief counsellor to be here all week. And in the meantime, there is myself, Mr McQueen, and every other member of staff available to you too. What do you think? It's perfect. I'm really glad you're back. Yeah, I have to say, I'm surprised to find you working here again. Nice surprise, though. Oh, the best! All right, walk, don't run! It's like you've never been away. We have to show them that life goes on, even if we don't quite believe it ourselves sometimes. Speaking of which, I need to hear all about Carter. What's he like? It's complicated. I don't like the sound of that. Do you two not get on? We've had ups and downs. Let's just leave it there. It's really beautiful. I was going to print some more pictures out and just put them around. Can you um, get your pictures together? Of course I can. 
can't believe the last conversation we had, she didn't even want to know me. She didn't mean that. You know that, right? I mean, we all said things we didn't mean. It was... <clears throat> no one wants you here. I just came to put these down. Look, I said get lost. I'd do what the lad said if I were you. Should we do anything? Kids, you need to leave now. Now! Sorry, can I catch you? I need to ask you a question. I didn't wait until school hours. It's not about school. I know that we said a few weeks ago that we were going to have a bit of a break. Carter is driving me crazy. I need to know if you and I are ever going to happen. I really don't have the headspace for this right now. I'm not prepared to wait around forever for you to make up your mind. Do you have any idea how insensitive you're being? I'm sorry. A pupil at my school has just died. A pupil who was best friends with my daughter. I'm sorry. So you should be. You OK? You've been really quiet since you got home from school. So Warren and Felix again before. He's really going to kill him, isn't he? I mean, if he hasn't already... Of course not. Warren's just grieving, that's all. Anyway, you've got enough going on in your life right now. You don't even need to think about that. Yeah, I better go back to the memorial. No, what? I was supposed to print these off in James' office. What? There's pictures of Ella. Or could you do it for me? Yeah, um, I need to... I can't. It is for the memorial. Please. This is really amazing, Charlie. Thanks. Um, did you get them other pictures? No, my dad's supposed to be doing it. I just don't know what's taking him so long. You know what? I'll just go and grab them. I'll be right back. Thanks. We're going to have to keep a very close eye on Charlie. Yeah. We'll get through it as a family. Oh, I thought I'd seen the back of those two. Who are they? Oh, the new starters. And the boy seems all right, but the girl. She is trouble. Blame the parents. Mm. Anyone got any booze? This is a memorial, not a party. From what we've heard, the dead girl was pretty fond of the ALSL. The dead girl's got a name, Ella. So stop being so disrespectful. All right, mate. No need for the tone. Exactly. She was hardly a saint by all accounts. And what would you know? Some lad at school told us she used to be a drug runner or something. You need to watch him out. Are you are. Don't you speak to her. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, hey, hey. What are you playing at? Back off. And who are you to tell us what to do? Exactly, you're not our dad. Actually, we might need to talk about that. Hannah. Hannah? Hello, stranger. JJ, Frankie. This is Darren, your dad. <laughs> 